Fans Privateer FX. Going at you Wednesday, Bank of Canada Day. Post Easter week, 24th of April. First chart I got up here is our little BTP chart. We've been talking about this for a while on how BTPs look just a little bit overcooked. Yesterday was moving day uh, in BTPs. Big move down through 130 all the way down to 129. Um, this looks like it's turned. Usually this is also bad news for Euro. A lot of people look at this as um, a ratio BTP to Boons. Let's have a quick look at that. 262 now. Um, yeah, that's usually quite negative for Euro. So just wanted to point that out real quick uh, as we go to Euro here. Printed a 92 low yesterday. Now we're just, now it's just sort of a matter of time, I think, um, when this happens. So we got this uh, 76 low here, 84, 92. Those, those are nice little neat, neat little upward sloper there. Um, of course, short euro this seems to be the way. Obviously, we're keeping an eye on this um, DXY, which traded up to 74, I think, yesterday. Uh, the high was 78, but didn't really break. So now we're waiting. Uh, could be today. Could be German IFO. Could be the ECB economic bulletin. Could be the German 10-year auction. Could be the Belgian business climate. Um, Let's just see. Let's just see and be core short euro. Last night, CPI and Aussie got smoked. Uh, now, Aussie's on its knees. 27 the low. It's only a matter of time before this gets through the figure. Um, this will be a very interesting uh, break trade level, 70 cents. As you can see, a lot of clean air below there. So... If you missed uh, the number last night, you want to sell between sort of 45 and 75 uh, in the next couple of days. And just keep an eye on the downside here. We now have had one, two, three, four, five, six down days. So you don't want to chase this down here through 27 or anything. Um, so be a little bit patient if you're late to the game on this. Nice break yesterday through 77 in uh, cable. Retain core shorts. We talked about this. I mean, this is kind of like the Aussie chart, right? Once we've once we're through these levels, this should really continue and go. So, core short is the way. Today, you want to um, you know sell between say 45 and, and 75, uh, and then you can just trade it for average. Um, so you have some safety. Hopefully you uh, sold yesterday and, and then were able to take sort of half back. Um, core short, sterling. The problem with sterling is one piece of good news could send this way, way higher, as in second referendum or whatever. But just keep your, make sure you're, you have your stops in um, and core short is the way. Quick look at uh, dollar yen here. A little bit of tomfoolery uh, at the Tokyo Open yesterday. Printing this down to 65. This is the 200 day here at 50. Um, for some reason, I have a feeling this thing's going to go a lot lower. But we do have the BOJ tomorrow, so uh, keep in mind that's going to be moving day for dollar yen. But we've had this doji week last week, and we've printed a lower low already um, this week. So left-hand side dollar yen looks to be the way, uh, but keep in mind BOJ. Dollars are through the roof. Talked about it yesterday. Once we got through 1411, um, it's just a matter of time. I do believe we're going to be taking out these 1474 highs. So, 
if you're long, uh, I believe you can stay long. We talked about it also that the DXY is going to put some pressure um, on all dollars, including uh, emerging markets. So this looks steady. Uh, core long is the way to go. I think today you can be kind of between 24 and 14. You want to try and pick up some some uh, dollars are if you don't have any in the basket already. Finally, dollar CAD. BOC today, so be careful. Obviously, this the range highs are 70. Uh, these are at risk. Um, if they are dovish, so uh, at this point you don't want to add any new dollar CAD. You just need to wait for BOC and see what happens. Hopefully, you got long yesterday um, and either profited nicely or have a very very sweet average. Um, we'll, we'll we'll put some more dollar CAD stuff on Twitter as we get closer to the time. That's obviously going to be in the European afternoon. Finally, stocks. Uh, the tactical book got stopped out yesterday. We sold 18s, 23s, 24s. Stopped out at 25. Heck of a day. Uh, traded up to 40 basically. The futures uh, all-time high over there is 47. Are we going to nip that? Uh, certainly looks like it. Definitely no bearish signs yet. Definitely too many people are bearish. Too many sort of professional people are bearish. And so it looks like there might be a little bit more pain. We're just patiently waiting. We're waiting, like we say every day, we're waiting for the straw that breaks the camel's back, um, the drop in the vase that causes the overflow of the last drop. So just be patient. Uh, we are going to sell high ones again today. Uh, it'll be around 48 to 58. Um, just on the tactical book, again, we'll risk a few handles to make a few handles um, because this is. We still believe this is ridiculous, uh, but we're not willing to put uh, directional book risk on the trade yet. Anyway, I will leave you guys with that. Wish you a good day. Core short euro, core short sterling. Watch out for Bank of Canada today. Try and be short Aussie. Uh, I know it's been a pain in the ass. Um, don't chase it down here, though. Uh, and continued short euro yen still looks looks like a solid trade anyway good luck out there make some dough uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow ciao